Hi, this is Bruce at the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to talk about tungsten electrodes for TIG welding, what they're alloyed with, what, the, what is in the tungsten, what it's uh, combined with, and their applications. We'll start with pure tungsten. Its color code is green. It was originally discovered in the 1500s, identified. It was called Wolf's Ram. Um, anyway, it's an element on the periodic table. It's number 74. The symbol is W. And pure tungsten was was uh, uh, the first tungstens used in TIG welding and it was great for the process but the process evolved and so they started to alloy it with different materials. Uh, tungsten itself has the highest melting point of any um, mineral element at 3400 degrees so that's well above welding temperatures. So tungsten is the pure tungsten is the original element for TIG welding. Pure tungsten had its issues. It would ball up, it would contaminate, it would, uh, it would be consumed. So the makers of these electrodes alloyed tungsten with thorium. Uh, thorium is a radioactive element. It, there's a lot of debate about uh, thorium tungsten rots. Um, they are radioactive. The alpha particles don't penetrate your skin and clothing. So that's not really an issue. The issue is grinding, sharpening the tips on these things and the dust that's generated from that. Uh, so that's what you want to protect yourself from. The powder, the airborne radioactive material that could enter your lungs. So always protect your face, your breathing when you sharpen these things. The red thorium rods were designed for DC applications and so it was pure tungsten, AC, uh, thorium for DC, some AC applications, but uh, the evolution was to design a rod that was for DC and AC applications. So we'll move to uh, lanthium alloyed rods. Lanthium is an element number 57 on the periodic table, LA is the symbol, uh, blue color coded for tungsten lanthium electrodes, 2%. So they combined tungsten with lanthium at 2% to create a stable and a high current conducting uh, electrode for AC and DC. Uh, lanthium is also used for Prius uh, electric car batteries. It has a lot of conductivity, so it's used in a lot of electronics applications. 2% lanthium is becoming the the most popular uh, electrode. It's all purpose. It uh, uh, carries the highest uh, uh, current value and the lowest burn loss rate of all the uh, tungsten electrodes. The makers of tungsten electrodes were still experimenting, still uh, uh, combining elements. And they came up with cerium, uh, C-E-R-I-U-M, as an element to add to the tungsten rods. That's uh, periodic, uh, periodic table number 58, uh, right next to lanthium, and it's CE as its um, designation. So cerium is added to tungsten rods at 2% like uh, lanthium, and it creates, a, a, again, a very stable arc. Uh, it doesn't conduct electricity quite as well as lanthium, just 10% uh, less in its capacity, uh, but it's a, a more stable arc. 2% cerium electrodes, uh, seriated electrodes, tend to be more stable at higher amperages, 200, 200 amps or so, and you have a more stable arc with a seriated rod. Also, their um, uh, derivation, their wandering of the arc when you're welding is a little more stable. The availability of lanthanated and seriated is getting better and better and better. So people are moving away from thoriated uh, electrodes uh, because of the radioactive component of the dust. And they're moving away from pure because the lanthanated and seriated can do both AC and DC. And they're proving to be just better electrodes. I've limited this to the elemental configuration of the rods, they're, what they're made of, uh, what the elements are. Uh, the diameter is a whole other discussion on, on amperage usages and, and uh, uh, capacities. <clears throat> so thanks for joining us at Longevity's Learning Lab. Hope you learned something today.